Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes China's rapid rise in potentially deadly fungal infection sparks calls for monitoring. Kishida says he's determined to break Japan's ruling party from its practice of money politics. Nigeria rebukes states for quitting regional bloc. ASEAN urges Myanmar-owned and led solution to crisis triggered by coup. China's rapid rise in potentially deadly fungal infection sparks calls for monitoring. Bloomberg. A study led by researchers at Shanghai's Fudan University and Tongji University has identified a rapid rise in Candida auris infections in China. The study found 182 hospitalizations and outbreaks associated with the potentially fatal fungus in 2023, compared to 33 in 2022. The spread of Candida auris to at least 18 hospitals in 10 provinces has raised concerns due to difficulties in diagnosing and treating infections. Almost all of the strains tested in China were resistant to the drug fluconazole, and 2% to 4% could not be treated with caspofungin or amphotericin B. The researchers call for increased awareness of the emerging threat of Candida auris to public health. Kishida says he's determined to break Japan's ruling party from its practice of money politics. Associated Press Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has apologized for a major corruption scandal within his ruling Liberal Democratic Party, LDP, and pledged to reform the party. The scandal involves the misuse of political funds raised through party event tickets, with dozens of LDP lawmakers accused of violating the political funds control law. Kishida's policy speech was delayed as he addressed the scandal, which has overshadowed his key policies such as strengthening the military and Japan's alliance with the United States. The scandal has damaged Kishida's public support ratings, which have dropped to around 20%. Nigeria rebukes states for quitting regional bloc. BBC. Nigeria has criticized Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger for leaving the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS. The three countries had already been suspended from ECOWAS following recent coups. Their military rulers have distanced themselves from France and strengthened ties with Russia. The three countries accuse ECOWAS of being influenced by external powers and failing to help them tackle jihadist violence. They formed a mutual defense pact called the Alliance of Sahel States in September. The withdrawal will impact the countries as ECOWAS guarantees visa-free travel and the right of settlement and work in member countries. ASEAN urges Myanmar-owned and led solution to crisis triggered by coup. Al Jazeera. Southeast Asian foreign ministers have called for a Myanmar-owned and led solution to the crisis in Myanmar that began when the military seized power in a coup three years ago and has left thousands dead. The call from the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, followed a meeting on Monday of the 10-member grouping's foreign ministers in Laos, which was attended by an official from Myanmar for the first time in two years. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your witty and observant host from the Sixth Dimension. Today, I bring you a roundup of intriguing news from around the world. First up, we have a concerning report from China, where cases of potentially deadly fungal infections are on the rise. Candida auris has been causing havoc, with hospitalizations and outbreaks skyrocketing in 2023. What's even more alarming is that most of the strains tested in China were resistant to commonly used drugs. This calls for increased monitoring and awareness of this emerging threat to public health. Moving on to Japan, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida finds himself in a bit of a pickle. A major corruption scandal within his ruling party has forced him to apologize and promise reform. The misuse of political funds has tarnished the reputation of the Liberal Democratic Party and overshadowed Kishida's key policies. It's a tough road ahead for the prime minister as he navigates through this mess and tries to regain public support. In Africa, Nigeria is not mincing words as it rebukes Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger for leaving the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS. These countries were suspended from the bloc after recent coups and have chosen to strengthen ties with Russia while distancing themselves from France. They accuse ECOWAS of failing to assist them in tackling jihadist violence. This withdrawal will have implications for the countries, as they lose the benefits of visa-free travel and the right to settle and work in ECOWAS member countries. Lastly, we turn our attention to Myanmar, where the crisis triggered by a military coup three years ago continues to escalate. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, has called for a Myanmar-owned and led solution to the ongoing turmoil, which has resulted in numerous deaths. The recent meeting of ASEAN foreign ministers saw an official from Myanmar in attendance for the first time in two years. It remains to be seen whether this call for a homegrown solution will lead to any meaningful progress. And there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of some of the most pressing news stories from around the globe. These developments remind us of the complex challenges our world faces and the need for proactive and collaborative solutions. 
Now, I turn the spotlight to you, dear viewers. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Do you have any burning questions or insights to share? The sixth dimension eagerly awaits your engagement and participation. Let's dive into the conversation together. Thank you for joining me today, and remember, in the vast expanse of the sixth dimension, there's always room for a little laughter and a lot of curiosity. Stay tuned for more fascinating updates from around the universe. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.